Spooky stamps. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the second spooky video on this channel. I am here in my wonderful spooky sweater that we made yesterday, also with some spooky ghost earrings and a spooky pumpkin necklace that I made yesterday, also with some minimalistic spooky decorations. And today it is time to make some spooky stamps. Stamp making also a thing that I only did once before, but whenever I do one arts and crafts thing successfully, then I will count this to my arts and crafts skills. So here we are. <laughs> material check. We need this. This is material number one. I don't know what they're called in English, but I would put it here on the screen somewhere. This is where we dip. This, this will turn into our very cool, very spooky stamp. We can carve whatever shape we want in here with this tool number two, material number two. This, this is the tool with which which we, we carve our shapes in, into these things. And I have some different words. I'm missing words. Um, th these are different sizes. Ca ca carving things, yes. This is basically all you need for stamp making. And then also we need some, some paper for drawing our spooky designs. And I also have some is this called carbon paper? I don't know. So that we can get the thing we draw sketched on the paper onto here. Yes, I know how to explain things. Step number one, spooky designs. I have four of these, uh, four, I can't count. I have five of these things. So I guess we can make five stamps. Now we just need to think of five spooky designs. Wait, I have an idea. I'm gonna put five little squares on this paper now we got five squares stamp sized squares and now we can think of some spooky designs I think we want a pumpkin as a must have or a, what are they called Jack o lantern is that how you write that oh my handwriting is beautiful wow okay that's a must have, then obviously a ghost. We need a ghost. What else is spooky? A bat. Bats are spooky. Skeletons are also spooky, but I am not going to draw a skeleton in, this, in the size of this and then carve out a skeleton in here. That's, that's, we are not doing that. So um, maybe we can think of something else spooky. Maybe a cat. Cats are spooky. I'm just brainstorming. I'm going to write down cat. And then spiders are spooky, but I am very much terrified of spiders. And I don't know if I can I can draw a, a, a good spider without a reference. And I don't want to Google references because whenever there's a picture of a spider on my on my phone, I have difficulty touching my phone screen because that's how bad it is. And um, some some I, I also just don't want to look at pictures of spiders. So maybe not a spider. Maybe we can think of something else. How about I got nothing? Is this really all the spooks I have in my head? I can only think of four spooky things. The spirit of Halloween is disappointing. Okay, I'm just going to start drawing these four and then maybe I, I can think of something else. Let's start with a pam pamkin, pumpkin. Let's do a classic round one, I guess. I think I'm gonna do a classic triangle eye angry guy. How do ghosts look? 
What if it has <laughs> little arms? <laughs> oh my god, look at it. It's cheering. It's cheering for you. It, little ghost man believes in you. That is four out of five. Now I just need a fifth. I really, really don't like spiders, but spiders are spooky, so I think I think spider it is. You know what? I'm gonna Google spider icon to get an idea how spiders look, and then I don't have to look at real spiders. How about that? Oh wow, oh god, I mm, that's also no, that's not fun. My laptop is screen is full of not real spiders, but icons, and that's already. Oh god, I don't like that one. <gasps> oh. Okay, okay, I hate that one. Ew, ew, ew. Okay. <sighs> no, there was one that that really that was not okay. Oh, I don't want to do it. No, <laughs> no, I hate this so much. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Nice, now we have five spooky designs and now it's time for the actual stamps. Step number two, getting the designs onto my stamps. start with the ghost because I think that's the easiest one and I'm going to use a small one to carve out the outlines and then we can use a bigger one to carve out this. Oh I haven't done this in well I told you I've only done this once and I also haven't done this in a very long time. One test stand before I move on to the other ones. Let's see if our ghost is in fact a ghost. Oh, that's very cool. Okay, it worked. 
Nice. Then now we can do the other ones. Look at this step. <laughs> Look, it's haunted. And that is stamp number five, our last spooky stamp. Now it's time to test them. Okay, let's do our little ghost friend first, because we know he works. My little ghost friend can go up here. Okay, next pumpkin. Mm, I, I really, I don't know about that. Okay, that looks like it might work. Pumpkin over here. Grand reveal. <gasps> yeah, that's looking. Yeah, no, I think that's. I think I like that. Okay, success. Now let's do. Let's do our eight legged friend enemy. That looks nice. Okay, let's see. Oh, cool. Very nice, okay, okay. I would also call this a success. Wait, maybe let's do another one with less ink, because I think that was a problem. Yeah, no, it's okay. You, you, that's, that's half a success, I would say. You can tell it's a cat, so um, what, what more do we want? And now, our little bad friend. We're going to do a purple bed. Bed, not bed. I bet this bed 
It will work. It does work. Oh, look, oh my god, so cute. These other little stamps remained. Oh, the lighting is really bad. A pumpkin, cat, spider, ghost, and bed. Oh, very cool. And also not that difficult to do. At least there are people who make like really, really amazing multi-layered stamps and they make whole artworks out of it. But this category of stamp making is not too difficult. So if you are looking for some arts and crafts idea for Halloween off or whatever, I would really recommend stamp making. It's fun, it's cheap and you can get really cute results. I really hope you had fun as well with this video. I already have something in mind for the stamps for next week. And speaking of next week, this is a spooky series I am doing. So last week we, we created this absolute masterpiece of a spooky sweater. This week we made stamps and stamps. And next week is spooky stained glass on the list. The next thing on the list is spooky stained glass. And, and that's the plan for next week, for next Sunday. The video will be uploaded next Sunday. And I already have something in mind for the, for the stamps then. So if you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more spooky arts and crafts, if you want to see some, some spooky stained glass next week, then go subscribe. Leave a comment which one of these stamps is your favorite. I think my favorite... No, I don't know. I think my favorite, my favorite one is the, is the bed. I think it's very cute. It's very, it's very tiny and small and, and, and cute. Yeah, but, but tell me in the comments which one is your favorite. And I will see you next week with some more spooky arts and crafts. Bye-bye.